Great start there from Selena. 75.6 in the end. Lois Tolson closes out the six competitors in the women's platform final. Has competed in two Olympic Games. Another great dive. It was really beautiful, beautiful pipe. She knows where she is. She comes out and sees the water and stretches for it. Very this is not her first rodeo. No, very accomplished diver, particularly when it comes to synchro and results are what you're looking for. She has done a number of good things, including two Olympics, as I mentioned. Fifth and 10 meter synchro in Rio in 2016. Seventh in Tokyo. And here on her own and looking strong to get it started, sitting in that third position after the opening round with four more dives to go. Ingrid Oliveira got everybody's attention and has herself a little bit of an advantage after one round. You know, where they're sitting, which side of the pool they're sitting on, what they're looking for. Some might see a bit of a twist on the bottom where others might miss it. And when there is a bit of a twist on the entry, they do deduct points. Individual event final, so seven judges, two highest scores, two lowest scores get thrown out. Remaining scores multiplied by degree of difficulty. Lois Tolson with a 2.8 degree of difficulty on this reverse two and a half tuck position. So unfortunately, not so great. This was her second dive also in the semifinal, and she received seven and eights, just, just going to over, not coming out of her tuck when she needed to. Sometimes when you're in the event, you have adrenaline, you get a little bit more height and a little bit more spin than you're used to, and you just need to find the way to control that bottom. Tough to manage that pace sometimes. She wasn't able to get it to where she wanted to there, and pays the price with scores as low as three. And that completes round number two. Two of five out of the way. Ingrid Oliveira with a commanding advantage over Canada's Selena Toth, who's got a little bit of breathing room over Janie Boyle of the United States. And it's Tolson in the pike position, and it doesn't get a lot better than that. So outstanding from Toth. Tolson has seen Oliveira and Toth go before her and throw down a gauntlet of sorts. And she's just going to try and stay within herself and do this arm stand. Back, two somersaults, one and a half twists. On the platform, there are six directions front, back, inward, reverse, twist, and arm stand. The girls only need to perform five of those directions, the men do need to perform all six. Arm stand effort there for Lois Tolson. Unfortunately on her bottom, she just wasn't very tight with her chest. Her chest sticking out a little bit loose in her stomach. It creates an arch which then creates a bigger splash. Just a subtle thing, but you can see the difference that it makes. And on the bottom, the water coming up from Tolson. Six and a half. Five and a half there as well. As she brings to a close round number three. Three down, still two to go. But a nice move there from Selena Toth to put a little bit of pressure on Ingrid Oliveira at the top. Bailey Sturgill, the youngster in that third position. As we get set for round number four. In round number four, got a good battle going here in the platform final. Lois Tolson will close it out in round four, leaving us just one round to go in the 10 meter finale. Lois in fourth spot after the previous round.
probably not how she wanted to finish off this event. This is not the normal diving we see from Lois. So the world's coming up. She will not be participating in the world's. Looking forward to the Commonwealth Games. Then they'll see about the European Championship lineup. They've got a lot on the go this summer, and so they're not going to name that team just yet. That European Championship right after the Commonwealth Games. Very busy. Very busy schedule for them. Ingrid Oliveira still maintaining a slight edge over Selena Toft. We've got one round to go. We're going to need that round to determine a winner. Bailey Sturgill holding on to that third position. Then Tolson Birch and Boyle to close it out in the women's platform final. Stealing the spotlight with her tremendous performance from beginning to end here. Lois Tolson will close it out. Sitting in fourth position. And we'll need to put together some big numbers to move into third. Back two and a half, one and a half twists. Pike position for Tolson. Dive five of five in the final of this platform finale. A nice way to finish off the event for Lois. She had a really strong jump, got nice and tight into that pike, entering the water really beautifully, not too much splash. With those scores, she's pushing her way up the ladder. Lois Tolson of Great Britain with a nice finish, looking for big numbers to see if she could climb into the top three. And Lois Tolson with a nice finish there, bumps herself up just ahead of Bailey Sturgill, but the story in the women's platform final, Ingrid Oliveira of Brazil ends up comfortably on top. And really, we saw the consistency pay off for the Brazilian in the final. It was really great to watch. She did an outstanding job. And that's the consistency you want to see in these diving events. Yeah, you know when you get on that international stage, and one or two good dives isn't going to do it if you want to find yourself climbing the standing. So Ingrid Oliveira has to feel very...